Hi there, it's Nick, and I'm going to talk to you today about a guy from way back named Girolamo Cardano and his role in the creation of complex numbers. Let's start with why we need complex numbers anyways. To be honest, I'm fine with plain old regular numbers, but it turns out that you need complex numbers mainly to solve cubic equations. A cubic equation is an equation with a degree of 3, meaning the highest exponent is 3. And they can have up to 4 terms, like this. Don't get your terms and exponents confused like I do. I, I mean, I did. Let's be honest. It's there. If you're like me, it doesn't mean much to you and maybe it's kind of boring. But... There is a cubic equation that gets used every day by a lot of people. Turns out I've even used it. It's this. Calculating the volume of a cube is a cubic equation. So is. Calculating the volume of a sphere is also a cubic equation. How do we know? Check the exponent. It's a 3. And it's the highest exponent. That's how you know. And anyone who has ever needed to know how much stuff will fit in a cube, like a house or a shipping crate, has needed to figure out a cubic equation. All the way back to ancient Babylonia in the 20th century BC. So, who is Girolamo Cardinal? Girolamo Cardinal was a 16th century polymath. That just means a renaissance man who focused more on math and science than art and philosophy. His dad was a famous lawyer who was, who was friends with Leonardo da Vinci. And he didn't want Girolamo to study math and science, he wanted him to be a lawyer, a renaissance man, and not a polymath. But Girolamo did anyways and became a famous doctor and mathematician. He was the first math mathematician to use systematically numbers less than zero. In 1545, he published a book called Ars Magna, where he presented solutions to a cubic and quadratic equations. And it's in that book that the existence of imaginary numbers is confirmed. So it's the confirmation of the mysterious I that Girolamo contributed to the world of complex numbers. His work with complex numbers was key in other areas such as physics, physics and engineering. He used his math skills in those areas to create the combination lock, the gimbal, which are things that allow a compass or a compass or gyroscope to move freely, and hypocloids. You'll have to look one that that one up yourself. But they helped create the first high-speed printing press. So that's Girolamo Cardano, and that's his short history on why he is important to complex numbers. But his story is really cool. I hope you look him up for yourself sometime. Even if you are fine with regular numbers like me, thanks for listening.